have to be a little bit precise because on the 19th there was the vote of the two committees responsible for this dossier, that is the Committee for Transport and the Committee for the, uh, Internal Market and Consumer Protection. And myself being the rapporteur for the IMCO committee, I must say that uh, the message to the European Parliament and the Commission itself is let's get serious about ECO. After all these years, let's be serious and let's really start after maybe uh, realizing that the voluntary approach is not really working. Uh, so let's uh, start being serious about mandatory in, uh, introduction of the ECO to all new cars across the EU uh, starting by 2015. So the main message is let's uh, the ECO be mandatory, let's be uh, public, let's be uh, it based on uh, 112, let's be free of charge for the citizens and for their benefit. Uh, you know, I think that uh, there are many stakeholders that, that have to take their part. Uh, it concerns the mobile operators that uh, have to identify or the, they, they should be able to implement the eco flag to identify the, uh, the, the eco signal uh, in their network. Uh, there has to be some homework done by the member states which uh, have to upgrade their PSAPs, the so-called public safety answering points, to be, hand to be able to handle the e-call like any other emergency call. And uh, third, um, there has to be some homework done also by the uh, car manufacturers uh, who have to invent the, the, the precise um, uh, mean uh, how to generate the, the, the eco signal, uh, the, how to gather the data uh, that should be transferred uh, by the voice and the, 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 the minimum set of data uh, to, the, to the system itself. We know that the voluntary approach, as I said, uh, is not really working. We are starting, or we started to talk about it, or the Commission, let's say, uh, since 2003, and uh, so far penetration is very low. It's less than half a percent of the uh, of the cars uh, across Europe. So we think that uh, to increase the uh, the, the penetration. That's one of the reasons why we call for the um, mandatory introduction. Uh, secondly, uh, we are also uh, asking the Commission to consider uh, whether and how to promote the eco also to other cars like the uh, um, heavy good vehicles, also the power two wheelers, and uh, we are trying to consider also the possibility to um, uh, make the eco also for the tractors and uh, this agriculture and. Uh, forestry vehicles so there are many possibilities but we also acknowledge that there are uh, some um um, already existing private systems that should that should work and I'm quite sure that even some aftermarket solution in the not really in the new cars but uh, already the cars that are uh, in uh, on the European roads so we should we should find some solution in some near future for that as well. Mm -hmm.